guys, it's Monday and it's usually my day off. I like to spend a lot of my weekends editing and filming my last shots for my videos on Sundays, but I thought today I would start off by documenting the outfits of my week. I actually styled my entire outfit off of this pastel watercolor print shirt that I recently thrifted at Beacon's Closet. It's really comfortable and airy. I usually would wear something like this with a pair of jeans, but since I haven't worn these pants in a long time, I thought I would wear them today. And since we are going to be doing a lot of walking, I just chucked on my trusty Fila sneakers. I also popped my hair up into this big old scrunchie. My little pearl hoops from Missouri are my favorite pair of earrings to wear because they go with absolutely everything and they're just so lovely. I'm also wearing these very simple layered neck to finish this off, I am going to be wearing my pink trench coat that I also recently thrifted. I actually haven't worn this one yet and I love the color of it. It's very lightweight and perfect for a day like today. I'm just going to grab this just in case I get cold. My entire outfit is fully thrifted with the exception of my shoes. I always love discovering more about my style when I do go thrifting. I'm going to grab my keys and I'm heading out. So now we're heading to the film developing place. What's the name of it? Finally in Park Slope, our train missed our stop. And that was frustrating, but we finally got here. We're thinking of maybe going to this place called Japan Village. I wanted to start editing and I also wanted to look through some emails. I'm not really good at looking through those and I just, I kind of want to put myself in that state of mind and that's Roger making some toast because he's headed off to work so I'm not going to really be able to hang out with him today. I thought I would blend in with my surroundings by wearing this moss green sweater because I am going to be going to a cafe that has a bunch of plants. <laughs> also, it's slightly cooler today but I decided I would wear a skirt anyway with some tights. I'm gonna be in a cafe indoors all day anyway, so hopefully I can get a seat now that I think about it because it's like noon now. For shoes, I am wearing these Oxfords, which I'm not gonna take off my feet right now because they're really hard to put on. I'm gonna pop on this blazer that I got last year. Again, probably not the warmest, but the sweater is wool, so it does keep me very toasty. And for jewelry today, I thought I would pop on these little asymmetrical hoop earrings. They kind of have like a weird shape to them, but I really like them. They just look really nice with the rest of this outfit. Sorry, there was like a cat hair there. Wearing more gold. This brass ring was from Vera Meat, one of my favorite jewelry designers here in New York. And yeah, it's just two little hands kind of clasped together. But I'm also, again, wearing this ring from Missouri. And that's pretty much it. This is what I'm wearing today. I think I might actually just pop on the scarf again. I think this is good. Also, something that I've been noticing about myself is that I do get a lot of headaches. So today, I am definitely gonna try to protect my eyeballs by wearing my glasses. I always forget to wear these, but these are really adorable. I got them from Ray-Ban. Oh my God, why could I not remember that? This is the look of the day. What do you guys think? So I'm gonna grab my bag and before I go, this is the lipstick I'm wearing by Lila B. It's in the shade be lovely. I think I have everything now. Hi, Colin. I'm gonna be back soon, okay?
I forgot my external hard drive, which means I couldn't do any editing, but chai latte was really good. I'll bring you next time, Clem. Hello guys, it's Wednesday. Clementine's hiding in here because she's terrified of the vacuum cleaner. Today, we're gonna be going to King Kong Broadway show, and I'm really stoked. I haven't been to a Broadway show in a couple years now. Just prop my camera. I just thought I would kind of zhuzh up my outfit by wearing this really nice vintage cardigan that I recently got at the Broken Flea. But since it does have a lot going on, I thought I would just wear it casual with a pair of mom jeans that are like in this medium wash. They fit me really well and I actually forgot I had these jeans. I did cinch in my waist though with this braided belt that has these little flowers and leaves all over it. It's really cute. Also vintage. I'm wearing the same hoops. As I was wearing yesterday. And I'm also wearing this little red beaded necklace that I actually got from my mom. I ended up inheriting it from her closet many years ago. And then on my hair, I just have this little brass clip that I think just looks really nice and adds a cherry on top to the rest of my outfit. Oh, and for shoes, I am wearing my feelers again. I'm just gonna be wearing this quilted jacket to keep me warm. This is my entire look. It's very casual, but I still think it's cute enough to actually wear out and about. And we're up. I'm not gonna be able to vlog there, obviously, because it is a Broadway show. Actors on his way. But I'm really excited. I'll try to see if I can get at least shots of the theater and stuff. Have you watched King Kong before? I've watched the original and the remake. Oh, okay. Watch out. Hot shot over here. Something that you already So far, it's been really great. Honestly, it feels like you're in it. There's a lot of movement and a lot of color, and I don't want to like vlog and get in trouble for it, but I really like it so far. It's always a critic. So good. Did you like it? I enjoyed it. it Your good. hair. Oh. You're looking like you're going through the early 2000s emo phase right now. The show was so good though. I almost cried. I didn't know he. <laughs> Spoiler alert. The monster was gigantic. Right? It was yeah, like. I think at one point he said, I'm shook. Oh. Yeah, I was shook. Literally. And when he stood up, he just like towered over us. It was insane. And I don't really have much planned today other than just chilling out because I've been pretty much just doing a lot of emails. We're heading over to Midtown where there's this like women's history month event celebrated by Hanya New York. I believe her company is actually run by a community of women all over New York that make all of their garments by hand at home and they just send them out to her. I thought I would welcome a little bit of the spring by wearing this skirt. I just love the big floral print that it has. It's very different to a lot of the other prints that I usually wear, but I still like I felt like because this does have a lot going on, this would be the perfect top to wear with it. I found these clip-on earrings that are a little bit too tight on my ears, but one of you guys suggested that I wear it as clips instead, so I've just been popping it on my hair. And yes, I am wearing my sneakers, but guys, I am always so uncomfortable when I'm walking around constantly in the city. Although my outfit is very summery, I do need to wear a jacket because it's still pretty chilly outside. Rolling up the sleeves a little bit. And this is my entire look. Hello? Hey, what's up? Uh, so, aggravatedly enough, I've been approved for the gallery show. Oh, what, today? Yeah. Oh my god, wait, are you serious? 
Yeah, I'm good too. How are you gonna print everything and then have it up on a frame? Uh, I have no. <laughs> See the G, then transfer to the E, and then walk five minutes. You should be making it there like ten minutes late, but it's okay. I feel confident in my outfit, which is so good. I didn't think I go that far. 2012, <laughs> I have my first collection. Uh, we, I, I was born, maybe we go back, I was born in Poland during communism. I went to ballet school, I graduated from ballet school, I performed in, performed in Metropolitan Opera in Poland and in Germany. I knew how to knit because my mom says if you want it, you have to make it. Show us your photographs upside down. Cool. 60 degrees outside, and I've been looking forward to today all week long. The clouds have been going in and out, but everybody's walking outside in t-shirts and dresses, so I thought I would just get festive in this beautiful vintage spring dress that I have. It's very boxy yet flowy at the same time, and it just feels like I'm wearing a pajama all day long, but it also just has this very pretty dainty floral all over it, and I'm just, I'm excited to bust it out. It's been a year since I wore it, I think. I just felt like today was a great occasion to actually like go out and look cute because we're gonna be going to a park, and then we're gonna be going to a Broadway show, and then right after that, we're running straight to Greenpoint because Roger got into this gallery and I'm just I'm so proud of him if you guys didn't know this Roger happens to be a film photographer he takes photos of real people in everyday life in New York City but the way he takes photos is just very raw and real but anyway I just picked up my hair in a ponytail because I really wanted to keep my hair out of my face and I also noticed that my roots are growing out so I just I don't even want to care about my hair until I head to a salon since we are gonna be going to a park I am wearing my backpack from Grafea this one is it isn't really the roomiest per se, but it does hold all the essentials. And lastly, for shoes, I am wearing these platform black oxfords that I got a couple of years ago from Fox and Fawn. They're Steve Madden and they're not the comfiest, but they look really stinking adorable with this outfit, so I thought I would wear them because it's just, I feel like I don't wear them enough. And this is my entire look. Since this is the last outfit of this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe like the format of this. I feel like it's a lot more casual and I also really like showing you guys the place that I go to in Brooklyn. There's just so many new places that I discover every week and I thought that bringing you guys along would kind of just, I don't know, get you guys interested on maybe visiting or having some sort of itinerary for when you do come. As always, if you liked it, give it a like and also let me know your favorite outfit down below in a comment or maybe any suggestions for future videos. I actually have a lot that I have planned coming up very soon so I'm just, I'm very excited for it and I hope to hear from you guys though. It always just really makes my day. But anyway, I am fully ready to enjoy the rest of the day, so let's go. We're on our way to the park and it's starting to drizzle a little bit, so I think after we go to the park, we have to walk back and get an umbrella and maybe a jacket because I think the temperature is going to drop later on today, but it still feels really nice outside. And Roger was just talking about how he wants to get a library card around here, right? He's so embarrassed. I'm gonna get a library card just because they're collaborating with Lou Reed's archive, who's oh. a really well-known musician. Which one? Uh, I think I think I have to go to the main public library, like the big one that everybody knows at Bryant okay. Park. By the way, we did get some iced coffees, and I'm like kind of upset they didn't have a to stay cup, but the chai is really good, and they do offer paper straws, which is better than nothing. Now I do have to look for like a recycling bin or something. Funny in that beanie. No, to me. I'm holding a camera. I have like a big head from this no. angle.